Hi, my name is Councilmember Ballard. With me, I have Representative Silas Miller and Stephen Bryan. They are looking to bring a tattoo convention to Wichita, and we're here to learn more. Hi, everybody. My name is Steve, and I'm here with the River City Tattoo and Lifestyle Expo. Uh, we're looking to come to Wichita in 2024. We've had a little uh, bit of issues and hurdles coming with the city level and state level to get these things uh, accomplished. So we made sure to reach out to Representative uh, Silas Miller, uh, Maggie Ballard here, and then uh, they've been really helping guide us along to get everything accomplished so that we can make sure that this Tattoo Expo comes to Wichita. So with the River City Tattoo and Lifestyle Expo, we're really looking to bring a huge variation of, of lifestyle and culture to the city at Century 2. Um, we've got over 160 different booths that are available that we're going to have for uh, whether it's uh, cosmetology or uh, tattoos or uh, even, even tattoo removal. Um, and, and even we've got uh, one gal uh, that's uh, called Hippie Witch and she makes candles. Um, so really just all kinds of culture and lifestyle that we want to bring to show off at Century 2 and just really show the spirit of the city. So earlier this year, I worked on a project with the downtown overlay that um, did not allow tattooing within a certain perimeter uh, downtown. We lifted that so that that is um, able to happen now. And that is similar issue that we're working on um, at Century 2. It's within an overlay that prohibits um, tattooing right now. So that is the hurdle that we're currently working on to bring the convention to Wichita. So thanks so much for having me today. Uh, again, my name is Representative Silas Miller. Uh, I represent South Wichita. I'm really excited to be part of this team to get some laws updated so that we can get this tattoo, and ex the tattoo expo here to Wichita. Uh, this is really important to me because I have a background in cosmetology. I've been a licensed hairdresser and uh, educator for 15 years. So I've, I've got a lot of experience dealing with the Kansas Board of Cosmetology. And I know that some things, when the, the more uh, government entities you get involved, the more hoops w feels like we have to jump through. So more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so these gentlemen uh, approached me and uh, we decided the first step was to start with the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm so glad that, that you've been on board. Um, I have been in contact with the state as well, the State Board of Cosmetology. I've been working with some other legislators to uh, get on board with um, finding out which laws it is that we need to change so that we can get this thing going. Just for point of clarity, I just want to make sure that everyone understands that by doing this rezoning is only encouraging more opportunities to come and utilize Century 2. It has nothing to do with tearing it down or any future plans of the actual building. I think it's important to focus on when we're able to open up new opportunities to bring new people from out of state, families, um, couples, staying in our hotels, spending money in our downtown area, um, eating at our restaurants, maybe catching a ball game while they're in town is really important for the growth of our city. Um, I just like to take the opportunity to thank Representative Silas Miller for working on this and both Steve and Brian for bringing this issue to um, Representative Miller and I so that we can work on it to bring really cool things to Wichita.